Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's Saturday morning, I've got a match today at Southampton versus Aston Villa. It's currently drizzling outside, so hopefully that'll blow over by three o'clock kickoff. I'm heading to the cafe first to meet up with another couple of photographers for a quick coffee before we head to the ground. See you there. So just making our way to the ground, it's about half past 12 now, we usually get to most grounds about two and a half hours early to get the cameras set up and go and choose our spot where we're going to sit for the first half. So we'll have a walk around the ground on the inside and I'll show you where I'm going to sit. So that's me signed in, I've got my bib and my pass for today. Just making my way around the pitch now to go and choose a spot to sit for the first half. So I've decided I'm gonna to come to the away end. Obviously the Villa fans sit in this corner here, but then as you scan around, that's the Saints fans. So first half, all being well, oh, here comes the music. All being well, Saints will shoot this way first half and usually what happens obviously they're not going to celebrate in front of the Villa fans if they, they score first half they always run and celebrate towards their fans sat here so I'm going to position myself just on the touchline here just away from the flag and the hope is if Saints do score they'll either do a nice knee slide towards this corner flag or they'll, they'll certainly run this way towards their fans first half and I should capture a nice celebration there fingers crossed So I've just took a quick frame of the corner flag there just to use as a test frame to send off to the desk back up at Nottingham and I'll show you that process now. At most Premier League games we send remote off the back of the camera. Basically we're just speaking to the, the little speaker there and it gives the image a voice tag, just a, 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 a general caption of what's going on in each image so that the guys back up at Nottingham on the, the desk know exactly what's going on in that certain image they can then caption that image and send it out to all the national press online footage mail online mirror uh, as well as all the the, uh, the plans for all the newspapers for tomorrow so I'm just gonna send this off now as a test to make sure that they're receiving the shots for the game hi guys uh, test frame from Southampton so that's now tagged the frame with my caption so just going to send that now make sure it transfers I just plugged into the wire so it should go hopefully it's all a bit of a waiting game it says it's transferring that's it that's that gone so I know that the desk have now got that image and I know that the rest of the game will be fine just to send images from the camera. It's a really handy way of doing it. It just saves downloading the card onto the laptop, editing it, saving it in another file, and then sending it off the wire on the laptop. It saves a couple of minutes sometimes if you've got a set of images to send. And that way we can ensure that within 10 seconds of a goal being scored, it's online. So that's the remote sending all sorted out and done. I know that all the images are gonna to get to the desk within five, 10 seconds of whatever happens. Could be a red card sending off, bad foul or a goal, whatever, you know. You just know then that you can send off the back of the camera in confidence and you know that the desk are gonna receive the images as it happens, which is great. So much better than using a laptop. So I'm just gonna head back into the press room now and then quick drink and then head outside and see if we can get some images of the fans arriving just to, just to get a general feel of the atmosphere before the game. So 
it's now half past one and as a rule most teams away teams arrive at grounds hour and a half before the game so I'm just going to head to the dugout area just to see if any of the team players from Aston Villa come out and inspect the pitch just grab one or two pre-match pictures of, of certain players that's the plan anyway So got a nice frame of John Terry there and also Tyrone Mings, Jack Grealish, Villa boss Dean Smith all come out to have a look at the pitch which makes some nice frames to start the set off. So that's all the pre-match photographs taken. I've nipped back to the press room and picked up all the kit and I'm now heading round to the spot where I showed you earlier to get ready for kickoff. So that's me all connected up, ready to send remotely. Just gonna grab some shots of warm up and then it'll be time to head to the dugouts for the manager's handshake and kickoff. Aston Villa players form a huddle during warm up. So that's Warbuck photographed. Just head into the dugout now to hopefully get a manager's handshake and a few of these substitutes. Fans are in good voice. That's the manager's handshake. Time for kickoff now. Well, that's first half done, 1-0 uh, Southampton. Got a nice goal frame, but unfortunately, Shane Long ran the other way, so I didn't get any celebrations. But uh, here's the goal and a few more shots from the first half.
So I've decided to stay the same end I was, but come round goal side now, um, in the hope that Villa make a comeback, because I think that'll be the story if, if Villa do win or even level the score late on. So, fingers crossed we get a Villa goal this end. Here comes the rain. result we wanted. Saints scored in the last minute 2-0 so no goals this end for us. Try again next time. Well that's it, second half done, just get all the gear packed up now. Luckily the rain didn't get too heavy so nothing's too damp. So here's some frames from the second half anyway.
that's it, another game done. Back in the van now, just about to head off home. It's just about to stop raining. We never got wet walking back to the vehicles, luckily, but uh, not the best of games for us photographers, unfortunately. Managed that first goal of Shane Long's in the first half. Bit of a messy frame, but you never know. Might appear in a story somewhere in one of the papers tomorrow or online, but uh, we shall see. Second half really, not a lot of story at all, apart from probably Pepe Reina making his way up to the Southampton box late on in the second half for the Aston Villa corner, late on in the, in injury time, and then not being able to make it back. And of course, James Armstrong beat him to it and slotted in Southampton second, but there we are. That's football. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I hope that's been a bit of an insight into a day at work with me on a football match. So it'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up and even better if you could hit that subscribe button. Catch up again soon.